Hello, welcome to One Bag Travels. I wanted to talk to you about some of the basics of minimalistic travel gear. So, a lot of people want to take less stuff, they want to pack into one bag, fit everything in the overhead, but when they get all their gear together, they have this giant mound of stuff and it's hard to see how you could possibly fit it all into one bag. I'm going to start out by going through my travel gear and explain to you what you should be taking with you when you travel and why. I'm also going to give you some tips on some ways to reduce the amount of stuff that you're taking and reduce the amount of weight and size of your bag. I'm also going to go through some items that a lot of people take with them that you might not need to take as well as some things that most people don't realize that they should be taking that could really make your life a lot better, safer, and happier when you travel. So the first thing you're going to want to get is one bag. You want something that is going to be small enough to fit in the overhead, but is going to be big enough to hold all of your gear. If you're new to this, I would recommend getting something that's the maximum carry-on size, which most airlines tend to be about 9 by 14 by 22. So there's a lot of good bags out there, and the point of one bag travels is to really show you all the options and go through them, review every bag, uh, show comparison tables, uh, pros and cons of all the models. But basically, what you're looking for is something that's going to hold all your stuff and be comfortable and work for you. So one of the one of the things with a lot of these bags is they'll have what's called a clamshell opening, which is one big pocket and kind of a briefcase size compartment that's going to hold the bulk of your clothes. One feature that a lot of the newer bags come with is these hidden compartments with backpack straps inside. And well, it's not necessarily, it really does make your life easier when you're coming and going from the airport, getting on and off public transportation, walking through downtown. It's a lot easier to carry than the wheeled luggage. The thing that's going to take up the biggest portion of your bag is your clothes. And while most people already have clothes and you tend to bring with you what you have, there's a couple of tips that really help minimize the amount of stuff you carry. So first thing, you want to you wanna try to avoid outfits. You don't want items that only go with, with one specific thing. You want to tend to get things that are mix and match or interchangeable. You want something dark jeans or khakis that you can wear with almost anything. As far as shirts go, you're going to want to stick with stuff that's solid colors and basic patterns. So, well, it's not necessary, I would recommend trying to pick up at least a couple of merino wool shirts. So these things are pretty nice. They're pretty pricey. This is a icebreaker t-shirt and it was about $70. But you can wear this thing for a week straight and it doesn't it doesn't pick up any odors. It's naturally antibacterial and it's it's pretty much the greatest travel shirt ever. It's a tiny bit itchy, but you get used to it. Um, I have a couple of these long sleeve button up shirts. This is from Wool and Prince and I have another one from Ibex. But these things are made out of wool and they work really good. They look really nice. Wool doesn't wrinkle as much as cotton does when you pack it. So you can pull this thing out of your, of your travel bag and pretty much just be ready to go. Usually when I travel, the only two electronic items that I take are a tablet and my phone. So they're pretty interchangeable. You can use a tablet, you can store hundreds of books on this. Uh, it's got the internet on here, you can have offline maps, you can have guidebooks, uh, translators, so um, you can pretty much put everything on here and you can, you can get these, these little tablets for $50 now. They're, they're, they're pretty inexpensive and they really help you out. For minimalistic travel gear on toiletries, basically you're going to take the products that you already use and you're just going to put them in these little mini bottles. So the TCA requirements is 3.4 ounces. And these little silicone bottles work pretty well. They're squishy and I have never had one leak on me. Um, so this is the deodorant. I'm not really sold on it yet, but it's actually a, a, a mineral deodorant and it doesn't count as your liquids. A uh, little thing of sunscreen. And I use, I use this stuff, it works pretty well. You can pretty, ma pretty much use it for anything, washing hands, um, you can use it for anything in the shower. You can, even do, you can even do dishes or laundry with it if you wanted to. It's uh, Dr. Bronner's Castile Soap and it comes in these little tiny bottles. Uh, 
Hand sanitizer, you definitely want to get one of these. You're in a foreign country, public transportation, airports. Uh, I tend to get sick when I don't use hand sanitizer a lot, so definitely a good option. Um, pretty much, I have a pretty small travel kit. It's kind of just kind of just basic guy stuff, and this 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 thing works pretty well. It's just a little mini travel mirror, kind of claps down, and then get yourself some kind of a lightweight. Uh, little little kit here. Um, this is a little Eagle Creek Spectre bag and works pretty well. I usually take a small first aid kit with me when I travel. Uh, obviously if you have prescription medications you're going to want to take those but for this kit I usually just just take a few small items to get me through if I if I need to buy anything in a foreign country they tend to have pharmacies just like wherever you're from. Um, so pretty simple just a couple band-aids, um, some kind of antihistamine, uh, Imodium AD and then some kind of pain medication, um, Tylenol or whatever. And then this is pretty handy, moleskin. So it's got a sticky back and uh, usually when I travel you, you tend to walk a lot. So this helps with blisters if you get them. I also carry this little kit here for miscellaneous items and this is a Eagle Creek quarter cube and it works pretty well to kind of store chargers and other little miscellaneous items. Uh, you're definitely going to want a travel adapter and uh, I've used several of these and I haven't really had any problems with it so just kind of whatever whatever you have lying around works. Um, I usually take a pen and a pencil. Black pen works well for filling out your immigration documents. Uh, earplugs and I found this little this little set. It does have a metal butter knife on here but I have never had anyone say anything at the airport about it. and. Uh, this really helps me when I travel to not not eat out for every meal. You can, you can kind of go to the grocery store and get a couple things and then you can eat it back in your hotel room or you can go to the park and, and kind of have a little snack. Um, you know, phone charger, headphones, uh, some kind of some kind of small lock. And this thing is pretty nice. I like this especially when I go to places like Central America or um, places that that maybe aren't quite as quite quite as safe as, as some of the some of the um, European countries. So it's a it's a small little uh, wire, plastic coated wire, and you can use this to kind of lock your zippers together, or in your hotel room, or if you're staying in a hostel, you can kind of have some extra security to lock your pack down to your bed or, or something like that. And um, definitely definitely comes in handy. And then this thing is pretty nice. It's a little Leatherman Stylus PS, and it's got a pair of pliers, a bottle opener, it has a file, and a little tiny pair of scissors. So it's TSA compliant. Pretty much every time I go through the airport, they pull it aside and they say something about it. I've never had them take it away from me, but if you do carry something like this, a lot of them do have knives on them. So you want to make it clear that you're not trying to take a knife through the airport security. So uh, I usually take this thing and I just take it out and I put it right in the bin so they can see it. Another couple of random items that I usually take with me is a little mini pack towel. So this thing is great going to the beach. Uh, you can use it in your hostel or, or hotel or whatever if, if you want to. Um, it's pretty tiny, kind of a small towel, but it will dry you off completely and it dries really quickly. This thing, there, there's there's a ton of these little guys, and uh, the new Outlander. It's a it's a little packable travel bag, so it's it's really tiny, kind of folds down, and this is really nice that when you get to your destination, you can just take this thing out, and it kind of unfolds into a full size is a 20 liter backpack, so it's about half the size of a full size carry on bag and this is big enough to carry all your gear for the day when you're out and about. I usually take a travel wallet with me so just something that's small that's going to hold my passport, boarding passes, travel documents, receipts and, and all that kind of stuff. I also usually take a little tiny notebook with me and this is really handy if you don't know where you're going or if you can't speak the language you can always write it down. You can write down the address to your hotel and then just show it to a taxi driver and say, take me here. So the last thing I would recommend that you do when you travel is 
to take a picture or photocopy all of your documents and identifications. And if you can print them out, take them with you. Um, it's not gonna, you're not gonna be able to buy anything with a photocopy of a credit card, but it's gonna have the address and a phone number on there if you need to cancel the card. And if you lose something, it's gonna be a lot easier to replace it if you have a, if you have a picture of it. That goes for IDs as well. If you did lose your passport, which you don't wanna do, then having identification, at least a photocopy or another piece of identification of your driver's license, et cetera, is really gonna make the process of going down to the embassy and getting a replacement a lot easier. So that's it for the minimalistic travel gear. If you have something that you think is really useful that you take with you that I didn't talk about, then feel free to uh, leave a question or a comment below. And thanks for watching.